OK, so in this video, I want to go through the proof that root 3 is irrational. We've seen the proof that root 2 is irrational, and the proofs for root 3, root 5, root 7, they all follow precisely the same structure. Now, I have done a video that is an alternative method for doing the root 3 is irrational, but you may find this one a little easier. OK, so proving that root 3 is irrational. A proof by contradiction starts with the assumption that is the negation of that statement. So we're going to assume that root 3 is rational. So we can write root 3 as a over b, where a and b are integers. And the important fact that a over b is a fraction in its simplest form. OK, so a over b isn't uh, 3 over 6 or anything like that. OK, it is a fraction that cannot be simplified. Now, if root 3 is equal to a over b, then we can square both sides, just as we did with the uh, proof that root 2 is irrational. You can then multiply it by the b squared. So 3b squared is equal to a squared. So that means that a squared is divisible by 3, because 3 is a factor of the a squared. So a squared has a factor of 3. OK, so therefore a squared has a factor of 3. And that then implies, due to the very nature of prime factorization, that a must have a factor of 3. Now, some people at this stage aren't very kind of uh, convinced that that has to be the case. OK, but if you think about this logically, right, you've got a times a is 3 lots of b squared, right? Now, if a times a is 3 lots of b squared, then by the very nature of prime factorization, you would be able to write a as a product of its prime factors, and also a as a product of its prime factors. There are no two numbers, um, other numbers rather than 1 and 3, that multiply together and make 3, because 3 is a prime number, OK, so that means that 3 must be a factor of one of these. And if it's a factor of one of them, it's a factor of both, OK, by the very nature of it being a times a. So that's why a has to have that factor of 3. Consequently, you can make the same argument if you're doing root 5 is irrational. If a squared has a factor of 5, then a must have a factor of 5 also, OK? It just stands to reason. So a is a factor of 3. So we can write that a is equal to 3 lots of some number k, where k is an integer also. OK? Now, if I substitute that in to my equation, 3b squared is equal to a squared, where the a is now 3k, then expanding that bracket, we've got 3b squared is equal to 9k squared. And then dividing both sides by 3, we get b squared is 3 lots of k squared. Now that means that b squared also has a factor of 3. And that implies, in exactly the same way as before, that b has a factor of 3. So that means if A and B, so if A and B both have factors of 3, then A over B could not have been in its simplest form. This is the crux of the proof which is a contradiction. OK, so we identify the contradiction. And so therefore, uh, root 3 
is irrational. Okay? And that completes the proof that root 3 is irrational. And you can trade this up uh, to root 5 is irrational, root 7 is irrational, etc. Okay? And you can use the, exactly the same structure to prove any of those.